Well, we should be in for a night of drama here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It is Manchester City taking on Real Madrid. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. starting 11 for Manchester City Ederson gets the nod in goal Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with Nacho Fernandez as fullbacks. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. And continues his run. Walker. And it still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Carvajal. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes round the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Oh, magnificent reaction. Fired over by Kroos. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Eder Militao. And the ball taken forward by Tony Kroos. He has options around him. Silva. Here's Grealish. Joao Cancelo. A little frustration for those waiting in the middle. Vallejo. The ball with Luka Modric. And it's a quality pass. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Lost possession. Benzema. And a decent delivery. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact.
Kevin De Bruyne. Sterling has it. Well, racing away here. Walker. Must score! Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. And there's the delivery. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Well, they fancy a short one. Rodri. And now Sterling. Bernardo Silva. Could be. Well, the opening goal of the night comes from Kevin De Bruyne. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. underway can Real find a response now and they need to get tighter here well the foul but the advantage with Real Madrid course really good interception so approaching half time and the visitors have a bit of work ahead of them. Stuart, your assessment? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Look at Modric. Can they square the game? And still an opportunity. Now well, threat over for now. And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And Real come away with it. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Rodri. Grealish. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, as complete a midfield player as you're likely to see, Kevin De Bruyne. Stuart, your assessment of his performance. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Rodrigo. Benzema waiting. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Oh. 
Rodri. On to Silva. Phil Foden now. And he did well to cut it out. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Sterling! That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Now, how about the short corner? Under real pressure here. Foden. Able to get a body in the way. Rodri. And Sterling has it. Modric unable to hang on to the ball. On and on he goes. Could be. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. But you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. for play Vallejo Eduardo Camavinga the ball with Luka Modric Karim Benzema working away patiently looking for an opening Carvajal Here's Modric. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Substitution for Manchester City. A change on the offing for City. Number 10, Jack Grealish. Coming onto the pitch, number 26, Riyad Mahrez. Well, there you can see, City haven't been able to control possession, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Foden. Through ball from De Bruyne. And cleared away. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? Delivering it. Well, it wasn't the easiest header to control, but still he'll be a bit disappointed. And unable to keep the ball. Can he take advantage? Big chance it is. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Well, not far away from full time, and Real Madrid, Stewart, I think, need to find several gears. Well, there's been a real lack of energy. Oh, right Stewart, a chance! A goal! As they cut into their advantage, still plenty of life in this match. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though.
And Manchester City will go to their bench. Back in action then, and Real can now entertain thoughts of perhaps pulling level. Walker. Well, just listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit in trying to get them over the finish line. Just 10 minutes to go. Tony Kroos. Excellent defending. Joao Cancelo. Mares. And now Sterling. Gives it a go. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Foden. And that's a well timed pass. And a goal. He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Take it away. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Tony Cruz. Coming onto the pitch, number 15. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Gundogan. Kevin De Bruyne. Gundogan threading it through. Just couldn't capitalise there. Rodrigo. And attempting the through ball. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. Well, here it is again, and he only had one thing on his mind. Hit it as hard as he could, and he certainly did that. What a good goal. Well, now it is final, and Real Madrid will be wondering where it went awry tonight. A terrible start to their Champions League campaign. Yeah, they'll be disappointed. It's an uphill battle if you don't get anything from your opening game. It really comes down to how they bounce back now. Vital we see a better performance next time out. Kevin De Bruyne, incisive and influential. How would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian? Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.